And we're now joined by BC head coach Greg Brown. Hey, Greg, thanks so much for joining us. So this is your second year as a head coach at BC. Last year under 500. This year into the Frozen Four. You've been ranked number one a lot of the year. How have you been able to get things turned around so quickly? Well, we, we had a, a huge influx of players, uh, a huge freshman class, also with three three grad students who came and joined us. So, um, you know, full credit to the guys. We, we have a lot more players. And, and the guys of uh, the freshmen especially have adapted to college hockey so quickly, um, quicker than we could have expected. So it's been great. Coach, uh, I don't want to default to the goalie because it's not a default. We know no goalie, no wins. So... <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about Jacob Fowler, Floridian too, which is cool to see, but tell the fans yes. a little bit more. He's gotten a lot of hype, deservedly so, but you get to see him up close. What's special about him? Very deservedly so, yeah. He's, uh, I think his demeanor and his, I mean, one, he's a great goalie, of course, but I think what, what really separates him and allows him to be so successful as a young kid is just his demeanor and his calmness in the net. He uh, doesn't let anything affect him. Uh, you never know if, if we're up four goals or down four goals. He's dialed in all the time, and he can play at a very high level that way. Hey, Greg, I get to see a lot of your players uh, at the World Junior Championship for Team USA yeah. and uh, absolutely dominant performances. Um, you've got some great ones there. Gabe Pro is one player yes. who, to me, um, may not get all the accolades, but man, oh man, he sure does uh, make players around him better. What are your, I mean, I know you're going to speak well of him, but what, what, what do you see that maybe makes him step up to be that special player? Yeah, uh, he's incredibly cerebral. Uh, you think of the, about the real smart players that you watch in hockey. Uh, a Johnny Gaudreau who played at BC uh, when I was here as an assistant, and then um, being in New York and getting to see uh, a Temi Panarin play. He has that kind of awareness on the ice. He he knows what's, it's like he's watching the game from up above. So he, he can make some, uh, it's hard to compare anyone to those two guys, but he, he sees the ice in a similar fashion and is able to create plays when, when most people don't see them. Greg, we're putting up uh, a list of all those great prospects on your roster. Will Smith, Cutter yeah. Gauthier, Ryan Leonard. You just talked about Perot. What's it like coaching these guys at this stage of their development? Yeah, he tries to stay out of the way. Um, <laughs> they, uh, it's exciting because they show you things every day in practice. Um, they can play at a high level. They think at a high level. And then I think they make each other better by uh, – won their internal competition, but also I think they, they learn from each other and see what works for their teammates, and then they, they adapt that into their game as well. Coach, here's what's interesting. You've had the experience at the National Hockey League level. You kind of couple that with your experience here at NCAA. What we're seeing from a lot of these younger players is an accelerated development curve. And by that, I mean a lot of the things they're doing there in college are kind of NHL grade what are you seeing where that's concerned from your perspective? Yeah, I think they're students of the game, so they're watching. Uh, they're always will text us or come in the next day and talk about something they saw uh, from watching the NHL players. So I think that the biggest thing for them, why they're accelerating their learning curve, is that they're just watching everything. So they, they see things that the pros do, and they, they incorporate it and try and work on it in practice, and then it becomes part of their game. Greg, a couple of things we're going to be looking for in this game against Michigan. Uh, you might be able to give us some insights. Is what are you looking for from your guys uh, against Michigan? Yeah, there's a lot of high-powered offensive players on the ice for both sides. So, uh, as most coaches will say, we're going to have to manage the puck well. Uh, they have a lot of guys that can make you pay if you if you have some careless turnovers. So, I think that'll be the the biggest thing on our mind is to make sure that we really don't get careless with the puck. Uh, it should be a fast game. Both teams like to get up and down the ice. It should be very exciting for the fans. Greg, uh, Kevin mentioned you had some time in the NHL, well, as a player, but also as an assistant under David Quinn with the Rangers. How did that experience change maybe your philosophy or impact how you have evolved as a head coach? Yeah, it was just an unbelievable opportunity to get to, to be there and, and coach, but just see the players at the highest level 
and see how they go about their business, uh, how much preparation, everything that goes in. And coming from college where we had very successful players who made it to the NHL, but then to see an entire team of it. And, uh, you know, I'm very thankful that Coach Quinn brought me with him. Uh, and it was invaluable to my learning curve as a coach just to see how it's, how everyone operates at that level and being able to bring that back to college. Recruiting. Lastly, I mean, you go on these runs, it's a lot easier to knock on doors and make phone calls. And certainly when you have a roster like you do, but what's one key to recruiting from your perspective, really, that helps you attract so many of these top-end talents to the program? NIL money. No, no. I'm just <laughs> Security! <laughs> Security! Just kidding. Hey, that's just, a good point. Just kidding. That's a good point. <laughs> that is a good point. Go ahead, Greg. I'm sorry. Take it away, Coach. Uh, yeah, the NIL world is, is making things different. Yeah. Um, it, it hasn't affected hockey as much as football and basketball yet, but... I'm sure it's going to grow every year, uh, but we're fortunate that BC has a tradition of, you know, a long hockey tradition and, and people want to come here. So hopefully coupled with that tradition with some of their favorite players that they see in the NHL makes it an attractive situation. Well said. Hey, Greg, congratulations on all your success uh, this year and best of luck to you and your crew against Michigan tomorrow in the national semifinals. Thank you guys. Love watching you guys.